And now we're in boxer's world, right? Bo boxers know how to get out of the way of stuff because even if they get touched, it's a point, right? So that was round, right? Straight, Bob works, go down, right? Go down, come straight up. We don't do that, right? Because if there was one, there was two. And he goes down, he leaves, right? Bob, then leave. That's right. You see that? Slipping. The third one, we had, we had bobbing, is right where you were. Weaving is changing position completely. Right? And bobbing and weaving go together. Bob and bob don't go together. Right? That's funny. Slipping is the hard one. Because really, do flinch and cover up. That's what your body wanted to do. But if that was a knife, I still would have stabbed you. <coughs> Right? That's why we do the work. That's why we do the work. That's why we do the work. So that instead of flinching and flinching stay in the way. Oh. So if I had a weapon, I hit it. Hand is okay. You take a punch, whatever, whatever, whatever. Right? But now you're staying where you are, but you move your head, replace with the shoulders. Oh, right in the hole. If I hit the shoulder, much better than his face, right? So tip the shoulder a little lower, give me that same space. That's what you're looking for. And by bringing this shoulder forward, he can reach me now. This is Krav Maga. Everything else is just getting out of the way. If I'm not hitting you, if I'm not impacting your strike, if I'm not disrupting your strike, then all we're doing is bobbing, weaving, and slipping. Mm -hmm. You understand? And in our mind, worst case scenario, it's not... You hit me, I got out of the way, you can try again. That's what I'm planning for. But if I train, whoa! Your one became my one, and I'm going to try to take over by two. And I said try, it's not guaranteed. I'm going to put the effort into this. Let's go to work.